Wireless Daggy SP3 to P4 Mini Unboxing and Setup Guide 1. Unboxing Open the package to find the following items 1. ESP3 to P4 Mini Development Board Depending on your purchase, you may also receive 1. P4 Mini PWR Expansion Board 1. P4 Mini PoE Expansion Board Detailed items shown below 2. Hardware Connections Connect the peripheral hardware, including MIPI screen. For this demonstration, the screen uses the K7907 driver IC and GT911 touch IC. When connecting, ensure that the development boards are SD underscore LCD screen reset, PWM backlight control, 5 volts power supply, and GND pins are correctly connected to the corresponding pins on the screen. Connect to camera, PWR expansion board and ac 204 g module. Then, connect to a computer via the Type-C interface. 3. Download SDK. Enter the following URL to access the wireless DAG code repository. Click the clone, download button and copy the SDK address. Open the WSL terminal and execute the command GIT clone SDK address. Once cloning is complete, enter the project directory using the command Open a code editor. The development board supports either VS Code or Cursor. This demonstration uses Cursor. Create a new terminal. Go to the IDF directory and execute the command. Then, return to the project directory. 4. Compile and flash the screen demo. Enter the following command to set the compile target to ESP3 to P4. Then, enter IDF.py menu config to open the menu config. Select Use LCD Demo. Press ESC to exit and save the configuration. Enter IDF.py build to start compiling the project. Once the compilation is successful, enter the following command to begin flashing. Note, users should modify the command based on their COM port. Once flashing is successful and the serial logs are being monitored, the MIPI display connected to the development board will light up, indicating that the display demo is running successfully. Compile and flash the camera plus screen demo. Enter the following command to set the compile target to ESP3 to P4. Then, enter IDF.py menu config to open the menu config. Select use LCD demo and use camera demo. Press ESC to exit and save the configuration. Enter IDF.py build to start compiling the project. Once the compilation is successful, enter the following command to begin flashing. Note, users should modify the command based on their COM port. Once flashing is successful and the serial logs are being monitored, the connected MIPI display should light up. A camera icon will appear. Tap the icon, and the screen should show the live camera feed, indicating the camera plus display demo is working correctly. 6. Compile and flash the 4G demo. Repeat the previous steps and select Use 4G EC20 demo to start compiling and flashing. Once flashing is successful, monitor the serial port logs. Successfully obtain the IP address. This indicates the 4G demo is running successfully. 7. Compile and flash the POETH demo. Select Use at demo to start compiling and flashing. Once flashing is successful, monitor the serial port logs. Successfully obtain the IP address. This indicates the POETH demo is running successfully. 8. Compile and flash the USB demo. Select use MSC USB demo to start compiling and flashing. Once flashing is successful, monitor the serial port logs. Insert a USB flash drive or card reader or other storage device. Successfully retrieve device information and confirm successful read, write operations. This indicates the USB demo is running successfully. This concludes the ESP3 to P for mini unboxing and getting started guide. With the rich open source SDK from Wireless Dag, developers can easily get started and significantly shorten project implementation timelines. We welcome everyone to come and collaborate with us. Wireless Tag, AI Agent Hardware Specialist.